we're going to uh, elongate that glimpse of spring tomorrow, aren't we? Goodness, we're going to have quite a day tomorrow. <laughs> Looking forward to <laughs> it. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, we've had our share of ups and downs, of course, yeah, after yeah. 64 yesterday. Only 41 today, but we should get up near 60 again tomorrow. We've had some winds today, too, but for the most part, those are diminishing this evening. However, they will be picking up again tomorrow, which means uh, that sort of on again, off again relationship with our winds and also with some precipitation. More on that. Let's check now our temperature. And this comes from Stapleton Airport where it's 28 degrees. There again, the high today, 41. The low this morning, 31 degrees. So we're already below that. Our relative humidity right now, 23%. The wind is south at nine miles an hour. The barometer falling at 29.98. Let's take a look at National Radar. A few interesting things happening. First of all, a little bit of light snow over the western areas of Montana and Idaho, parts of Washington. But the main interesting thing is this area of thunderstorms. That's right, the yellow and red showing up back in here again, along a line through Louisiana, Mississippi, back up into Tennessee and Kentucky. It's part of a frontal system. We'll see that in a moment. But also some areas of rain, freezing rain and sleet from o uh, Iowa back into Ohio. And then this is snow up in Wisconsin. Now that front I was telling you about, right through here in the frontal clouds just ahead of it producing those thunderstorms more like a spring pattern the low pressure area here creating the uh, freezing rain sleet snow up to the north and then this front which is sort of in here backed in producing some colder air on the east side to the west warmer air and uh, a little bit of snow from those clouds up to the north now that front that's in Colorado will push some warmer air back onto the northern plains tomorrow and will be set up in a classic uh, downslope Chinook pattern you always look for winds when you have high pressure to the west lower pressure to the east now there's another front on the way. These things seem to be coming in about every 48 hours. This one's oriented more so that it's going to bring down some cold air from the north and should start coming through the state sometime late tomorrow and maybe affect uh, the Denver area tomorrow night and early on Tuesday. Here's the way it looks for temperatures. Let's sandwich in another nice day of temperatures. 50s over much of Colorado, some 60s too. Cold areas have been Minnesota and Wisconsin. That will be the case again tomorrow, but still moderating a little bit with highs in the teens. 40s for much of the west. Of course, your warm areas. You can see the 70s in some of these southern sections of the country. Temperatures today from the weather watchers, for the most part, 30s in the eastern areas of town. 40s almost everywhere elsewhere. 48 from Mabel Kirby in Englewood, the warm spot on this map tonight, and 30 for highs in many of the foothill locations. Statewide, quite a range in the mountains. Fraser didn't get out of the teens today. 42 in silt, mainly 30s though in the west, mainly 30s and 40s in eastern Colorado, but Pueblo there today managed 50 degrees. Here's our forecast now for Colorado. Partly cloudy skies. These are lows tonight. Highs tomorrow, 35 to 45. Mountain areas too. Scattered snow showers developing late in the day tomorrow. Highs in the 30s. And then eastern Colorado. Partly cloudy skies. We should see a lot of sunshine here tomorrow. A warm day with highs between 48 and 64. The lower end there will be out in the northeastern plains and the warmer areas, of course, where there's a little wind and down in the southeast. Let's check now our Denver forecast. Mostly clear, breezy tonight. Look for a low of 20. Tomorrow, yep, it's a good one. Sunny and warmer. Look for a high of 58, the low 27. And then your extended forecast. On again, off again with the precip. Maybe a chance of rain or snow showers Tuesday. Nicer again Wednesday. Maybe a chance of snow showers again on Thursday. And then a recovery for Friday. Typical February weather. A variety show. Okay, thanks a lot, Steve. Kathy? The Olympics are underway in frigid, windy Calgary. In McNichols Arena, a red-hot Blair Rasmussen leads the Nuggets over Utah. Les has highlights next.